Hello people, this is Vakas Ahmed and uh, today I'm here to tell you that uh, how you can change the attributes of your folder, okay? So, I experienced this problem, uh, I actually had a flash drive full of viruses and uh, I got my two, two files there. And uh, that virus made those files hidden and uh, so that I had to show hidden files from my folder options. And the best part of this thing was actually that uh, I couldn't change the attribute of that file from here. Right now you can see uh, I have uh, the privileges of uh, changing the attribute from here, okay? But uh, I was not able to do that when uh, my virus infected the file. Uh, though uh, I have cleaned the disk with my antivirus, but uh, the virus still left its mark. So, if you have experienced such kind of a problem so this video is meant for you and uh, if you want to change the attribute and if you are able to do it from here then you don't need to watch this tutorial anymore okay so what i'm doing is actually downloading a software first that is uh, attribute changer okay i would be leaving uh, the download link for you guys it's here your program is not downloading but I don't want to download it again and uh, I have already installed it in my system now, okay? So, after downloading and uh, installing, it would uh, ask you to restart your machine, machine and uh, you would do that, okay? So, after the restart, uh, you would uh, click the right button and uh, on your folder, on your file that is in infected, okay? It's meant for the files, for the folders and for the applications as well. So. There's, there's something would be new here in your drop down menu that would be change attributes. Okay, so now you have got a few options here. Okay, that are hidden archive, read only, system, compress, and index. So I think what that antivirus did was uh, actually made it a system file. I think that was I was not able to change my attributes from here. I was still able to do that, but th that was something like that. So you would come here in the change attribute, and uh, you would unmark the hidden, and uh, would apply for them. Okay. Now it has changed the attributes of the files. Now it is not hidden anymore. So you can see the properties as well. It's read only now. So this was easy. Um, I remember spending the time uh, like. Uh, spending an hour to find this software but once you have it it is easy as hell thanks for watching my tutorial please give us a please do recommend if you are experiencing any problems still and uh, thanks for watching my video